Once upon a scary Halloween, when hoot owls hooted and hound dogs howled, four excited kids named Josh and Edward and Aaron and Teeny were getting ready to go trick or treating. It was almost dark, and they had on their scariest Halloween costumes. Suddenly, the doorbell said. They ran to the door, and sitting there was a giant jack-o'-lantern. It looks like a pumpkin pie with his clothes on. Said Aaron. It's a magic jack-o'-lantern. Who said that? I said that. The jack-o'-lantern said that. That must be magic. Said Josh. Hey. How come you have a flashlight inside your head? Because candles and other burning things are very dangerous. You should carry a flashlight too when you go trick or treating. And Teeny said, "We got one." Good. Now, if you take me trick or treating with you, I'll make some scary sounds for you. Like what? Said Teeny. And Jack O' Lantern said, "Like ghosts in the wind." Listen. Scary. Yes. Make some more scary sounds. I will later if you take me trick or treating. Come on, Come on let's, let's go. go. And so Josh and Edward and Aaron and Teeny and Jack O' Lantern went off trick or treating. Who goes first? We all go together. You shouldn't go trick or treating alone. Okay. 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 Trick or treat. Come on in. I'm sorry, we're not supposed to go into houses of strangers. You're right. I'll go get you a treat. Now you just wait right there, and I'll be right back. Make another scary sound, Mr. O' Lantern. How about the wickedest witch in the world? <laughs> <laughs> What was that scary sound? The wickedest witch in the world. Oh, okay.、Uh, here's your treats. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on, let's go to the next house. Hey, wait for me. And me. <laughs> And they all had a wonderful time trick or treating all around the neighborhood, being careful to look both ways before they crossed the street. And when they got home with all their treats. They sat down in a circle around Jack O' Lantern, who said, "Would you like to hear a scary Halloween story?" Yes. This is the story of a haunted house. In it lived a ghost, a skeleton, and a bat. Last Halloween, when they were getting ready to go out to scare everyone. They went into the closet to put on their scariest costumes. When suddenly, the wind blew through the spider webs covering the windows, <coughs> and the door slammed shut, locking them in the closet, where they have lived for a whole year, waiting for you to come into the haunted house to let them out. You come through the front door, seven steps away from that closet. You take the first step. It's dark and quiet. You take the second step. The third step. You know what's behind that closet door. You take the fourth step. You take the fifth step. You take the sixth step. You're one step away from the ghost, the skeleton, and the bat. You take the seventh step. Don't be scared. Open the door. It sure was good.
good story, Mr. Old Lantern. How did you learn to tell scary stories? Well, one day I had a donut, and suddenly my mouth could talk. A donut? That's right. Winchell's Donuts do magic things to your mouth. A Winchell's Donut really, really does it. Donut. And now, for all you girls and boys at home, I have some scary sounds for you.